and try to bring that thing in around the back of the boat. I'm just going to pull the rambler straight ahead and bring it in here. Spin it around and let it sit right back here. Um, I was thinking about, you know, I got somebody doing the seats on that pontoon boat and this thing's got the original seat in it but it's almost rotted out but i was thinking about taking it up to the guy that's doing the pontoon boat seats and see if i could get him to make me a new seat for that thing uh, i also want to redesign that axle it's a piece of it's got a couple of spindles welded to a piece of pipe galvanized pipe and i've got an old 33 plymouth axle up there It'd be neat to put that axle under that, lower that trailer down, and then put some of those chrome baby moons on it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think I'll just do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the rambler come out, and then I'll let that come in. This one's got a little bit of a flat tire. I've got the knee pump that up. I think I'll go ahead and do it right now while I'm thinking about it. When I was out on the road in the camper, we didn't have an action pressure and honey bag had a bicycle and the tires would go flat on it. So I went over it. I don't know, some kind of little store and bucket full of portable air compressor thing. And boy, there ain't much to it, but it actually works. And it works pretty good. I find myself using it a lot out here. Especially when I've got these outer garages and there's not an air compressor or any kind of power close by. Uh oh, battery ran out. Well, that ain't going super fast. I might just walk down here and grab a cord. I stretched a cord out here in the woods a while back to run a couple of uh, little chargers and things. And I could bring one up here and tee off of that line I got behind the garage there. And then I could run a regular air compressor or something like that in there. Ah, let's go see what we got. Kind of nice to get the woods cleaned out. By the way, some kind of a pretty good sized animal was living under the boat. Dug a hole in the ground. Look at all the dirt they threw up. See the size of that hole right there. And all this dirt. So whatever that was, you had to be quite the ability to dig. Yeah, he did. Okay, so I'll get this and this and this. And I'll run over here and pull the rest of that wire loose from inside this building. And then we'll take that up there. And plug it into the cord that's running behind the building that runs down here. Then we have a little power. Oh, there's even a multiple plug thingy right there. That's, that's handy too. Oh, the joy. Yes, sirree. Bob. Yes, sirree, Bob. That'll work. They tell me back during the, one of the big wars that Britain was in, they had a commander named Bob. 
And a lot of sayings came out of him. He inspired his men so much that they would invoke his name quite often. They'd say things like, Bob's your uncle, which I'd never heard before, but I met some people who grew up in England and they told me about that. I'm guessing yes or Bob came from that too. Get me a one of those T splitter things and we'll hook that wire up to that. Turn it back around in here. Then we can at least have a little lights and maybe a, I got an extra air compressor, so I can bring that back down here too. Holy joy. That is pumping, but it's pretty slow. I'll take this out there and I'll put it on that wire and then we'll run it's actually way more wire than I need and it's not a very heavy wire but it'll do for today and come up with something more outstanding at another time so here's my this is basically a 30 amp camper extension plugged into a uh, 110 reducer, which I can plug this into, and then plug the barn back there into that, and I have a little electricity down there, and then I plug this one into that, and I should have left that little pump running so I could unhook this one and get the trailer and use it to go get the air compressor thing I could just I could just unhook this here so do that and come back yeah let's do that and you know it's really tempting to grab them little wheels and put on here too because it sure look a lot better than I think these wheels on again. See, I got this stuff from the air compressor that I had at home. And I got this compressor right over here. I can take back there. Oh, and I've also got two of these hanging on the wall. I can take one of these back there. Holy joy. Come on, ride with me. Get this outside and blow all this stuff out of the inside and take those seats out and uh, get them recovered and then uh, do this axle. Um, the thing about a project, any project, is sometimes you can get overwhelmed by the totality of it. But if you just do one thing, like for me, getting this up here, getting it inside here, that's one thing. And then pumping up a tire, one thing. And then cleaning it up, that's one thing. And then reworking that axle, that's one thing. And then, uh, oh, 
Well, after I do all that, I guess I can start thinking about putting a motor on it. It all adds up. It all comes together. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to set this air compressor over in the corner out of the way somewhere. It won't bother anybody. And I'll probably just put all this hose right back in that box. That was a pretty handy place to keep it. And we'll put the Rambler back in and we'll see what else we do today. Oh, the joy. I think the next thing I might do while well, I got that little trailer. I'm going to use this trailer for what I was fixing to say. I want to take that piece of stuff right there. That's an old, uh, that's part of an old door that I used to use on that building that I'm not using anymore now that I live here. And I'd like to haul that back in there. I got a metal pile back in there which I'll probably wind up moving on further into the woods so I get it completely out of sight. But for right now I could pull this off, down off the side of that building. Take it back there. Uh, just go grab me some gloves so I don't cut my fingers on it. Oh, did you? tell y'all how me and Bill fixed dad's uh, John Deere uh, you know I was talking about it hadn't been running well I went down to take the plug out to clean it and the plug wire snapped and it was broken now the plug wire on that one goes inside the motor shield to a mag uh, uh, what do they call that thing mag, uh, mag magneto and I didn't want to take the motor apart to take the magneto out, so I cut the broken wire and came up here and found me another wire. The other wire had graphite in it. This one had wire in it, but I put the two of them together and clamped it with a little 12-volt uh, wire clamp and then taped it up. It's running fine now, so apparently that broken wire was what was causing it not to run. So that's all fixed, and I didn't have to rebuild any motors or any of that stuff. So. I'm really happy with that. I love using that little mower because it's small and easy to get around in tight places and stuff. So I'm going to take that down there in the woods somewhere and put it out of the way. And, and I got some other stuff in the woods I need to bring up here and throw away. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll look at what we got going now. <laughs> 